what is up YouTube came in here hope everyone is doing excellent today I know I am welcome back to seven days to die um, and this will be episode number six in our uh, let's play series for seven days to die and in today's episode um, I've noticed something we are have been generating a lot of heat in our heat map um, if you don't know what the heat map is basically it is something that generates anytime you do anything so I'm gonna turn on the heat map real quick if you want to see how much heat you have in one specific area uh, all you have to do is open up the debug menu by pressing the title key and that's what I did and then typing in DM and that'll turn on the debug menu all right and then you just press F8 once for the FPS and twice to bring up the debug menu and if you look over on the left hand side it'll tell you uh, a lot of different information but the main one that we're concerned about or main two actually is the heat percentage and the chunk number so uh, this game is broken down into s specific chunks uh, each chunk has a radiant heat in that chunk so um, as you can see our heat level is kind of high once it reaches 100% then a spider zombie horde will spawn if a spider zombie horde sees you or if a spider zombie specifically sees you they will summon in an even bigger horde they're kind of like a scout basically what it is so uh, instead of continue to do smelting and cooking and all in our base um, I've decided to go ahead and move a smeltery and uh, cooking station over to this house right here it's a good little ways away from our base so we don't have to worry about the spider zombies coming and seeing us way over there uh, though they will start slowly progressing their way towards us but we don't have to worry too terribly much so I'm just gonna repurpose this house right here I'm gonna leave it as is I've already cleared it out for everything um, so I just looted it and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the attic to do this and I've already cleared everything out as you can see uh, right in here I think this would be a beautiful spot to do this in so and then um, I'm also gonna want to set up a farm and I think I'm gonna do that right over there uh, because even farming gives you a certain amount of feet not much but let's go ahead and start to get everything set up I've already made everything in advance I've made the forges we're gonna get these placed right over here I think uh, let's see here how big is this room all right it's 11 wide um, I want to place this in the direct center let's go one two three four five six right here should be perfect so how forges and things of that nature work or generate heat is every single time something is burned so a piece of fuel is burned inside of it that is whenever the heat itself is generated and it generates I believe let me think I think it's 0.1 percent um, of the current heat so and then I'm just gonna set the campfires right down there and there we go we have our nice little uh, setup right here it's this will be where we start to smelt all of our ores down and then also where we cook up all of our food so now that we got that set up let's go ahead and I'm starting to run low on a couple of different things and then I also did uh, goldenrod mostly Oh, wrong button there we go I also found potato seeds in which that means that we can start making meat stew in which is an amazing food source and we have tons and tons and tons of meat so I think that'll work out excellently I have everything that we need to start planting um, I found an amazing hoe I mean this thing is uh, excellent quality so I'm just gonna run over here and let's find a good spot right in this area um, I don't want it on right next to the road but I do want it really close to the road so let's go ahead and get rid of that and then I was using candles for light sources earlier let's go ahead and get rid of a couple of these things come on go away nobody loves you 
There we go. Clear up some of this area real quick. I like using my fist for this because uh, it's just, it doesn't use tur tool, dirt. Man, words are hard today. It does not use tool durability. There we go. Man, couldn't speak there for a second. So, uh, it's just, uh, saves on tools, on resources mostly. Let's just clear us out a nice big patch of land. And then we'll start storing, um, all of our raw foods over here. And then we can start cooking it up over in our other location. Actually, I might move the fireplaces over here. I haven't been in here yet. I kind of thinking I might move the fireplaces over here. Uh, kind of fix this place ju up just a tiny bit. You know what I mean? And yeah, I think I will. It wouldn't take too terribly much to build this place up a bit. Uh, let's go ahead and grab our axe. I just want to get rid of these right here real quick. And then I can build up this wall and I think this is where we'll place our fireplaces. Or should I do it along this wall? Right here even. Hmm. No, I kind of like right here. So I'll build up three more fireplaces and put them right here. Y'all probably don't want to be seeing me just destroy stuff all the time. So I'll do that off camera. Uh, loots. Okay, so let's, let's clear out the area right here in front of the stairwell. That way, we just have to come in, and right here is our food. Okay, good. Um, let's get started with right here. Let's go. Uh, let's put our potatoes down. Um, it's not giving me what I was wanting. Let me see here. Can I turn this? I can. Okay. Awesome. Turn that into wood. And then let's make some frames with it. Nope, that's not what I wanted. I just want regular old wood frames. Okay. I can make one of those. That's all I really need. It's just one. This will just help me measure stuff out. Two, three, four, five. So, right about there, I'm thinking. Nope. I need to get rid of something in my inventory. There we go. So, that was five, right? One, two, three, four, five. So we will start planting right there. One, two, three, four. Man, it has been hot in this biome here lately, like annoyingly so, that I am just burning through all of my fluids. Now watch. I'll fill up all the way up to 100% and watch in like 5-10 minutes. It'll be completely gone again. It's kind of annoying. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I want to come to right there. There we go. And that should be 8, I believe. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. Okay. So we go one over. So that'll be right here, I think, would be a good spot. I 
and just do the same thing. All I'm doing is just right clicking the ground. It'll automatically clear out any grass and till the land up for us. Is that good? Okay, that's good. And then go one, two, three. There we go. It is ridiculously hot. And I'll fence this area off and build it up just a little bit more so that it's more defensible. But for right now, this will be fine. We don't really... Zombies aren't going to attack the plants or anything like that, so we don't have to worry about them coming through and killing off our, our farm. Uh, there we go. So, what else do we need? Need one, two, three, four... Uh, cut five. So one, two, three, four, five all together. I think, right? Six all together. So we'll need six rows. We've got three done. Let's go ahead and clear out some more of this. Should be keeping an eye out for zam zombies and stuff, but yeah, there's none around. We're good. Got to watch out for that night horde, though. They should be spawning here whenever that sound buzzes. That's whenever they'll spawn. here too so um i think i'm gonna start cooking up the animal fat to make tallow so that we can start making candles and candles are just an amazing light source in fact let's go ahead and place one can i place it on here i'm not sure hey look there i can and we have a floating candle awesome okay well whatever boats your float there's another candle okay cool Alright, uh, let's finish. Okay, so now we need to start watching out for the horde. Yep. Yep, just spawned. So just keep an eye out for them. None, they should be showing up here any moment now. Get our wood frame back in our hand just so that we can tell. Alright, not there, but there. This will be number four. Oh, no. Damn it. That's not what I wanted to do. Or is it? Let's see here. Yeah, that's exactly where I wanted it. I think. Is it? Yeah, that's good. It's kind of hard to see at night. So, uh, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut the video for just a moment here. And bring you all back once it's daytime. So that it's easier for you all to see. And easier for me to see mostly but uh i'll catch you here in just a minute welcome back everybody so um it is now five o'clock in the morning in game and i decided to go ahead and bring you back and show you something real quick um we're running really low on water and i mean really low that those eight right there that i have in my hot bar is all we got and i remember how a couple of episodes I looked and looked and looked and could not find any water anywhere well right next to this information center which is just a little ways away from our base uh, our base is just past that building there um, right behind here is a little house and in this house 
there is a basement. And in the basement of this house is full of water. So I've just been, uh, I just found this like, uh, a little while ago, not too long ago. Chicken! Come here, chicken. Die. Death to the spy chickens. It's a spy for the zombies, I swear. It must die. Where'd he go? Oh. There he is. Nope. I'm not that good. Anyways, um, continuing on. Uh, so I found a beautiful source of water right there. So that that is excellent for us. So I'm just gonna run on over here, kill this guy off really quick like. Come here, Brosov. Brosov. Bang. Down and headshot. Dead. Excellent. Um, I went ahead and went back to base, uh, grabbed a couple of things, grabbed a whole bunch of water, made up the campfires real quick, grabbed my uh, my animal fat so I can cook that down into tallow, and then I grabbed my golden rod so that I can uh, make that into golden rod tea. Because if you're going to drink a whole lot of something, it might as well be golden rod tea. It increases... Oh, excuse me. Wait a minute. Where is... Yeah, it's over there. Okay. Um, goldenrod tea, it increases your, um, oh, what is the word? Your wellness. There we go. Words are hard. Anyways, um, increases your wellness over time. So, uh, just a little bit. I think it's 0.5 is what I want to say it is. So, every goldenrod tea you drink, you get half, or is it 0.2? It might be 0.2. I might be completely wrong. So, but, um... Either way, it increases your wellness. So you definitely want to be drinking that, if anything at all. Um, I have a lot of stuff on me, Rogue. So let's let's go over here. Uh, kill this zombie. So that she doesn't bother us at all. Come here. Oi, stop stumbling around. Ah, uh, I missed. Okay. What? Why did I miss that? Oh, come on. Seriously? Am I really that bad of a shot that I can't even hit? There we go. Okay. Only took like six or seven shots. Alright, we are now level 18. Have 132 skill points. Woot. Anyways, continuing on. Is that a bird's nest? We're running dangerously low on feathers as well. So, I have to keep a sharp eye out for bird's nest. Oh, overheating again. See, this... We may need to go and find a different biome to live in. Um, because if if we're going to be struggling this much to cope with the heat, then we, we just may have to. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Oh, and I'm hungry. Great. Okay. Let's find something to eat. Luckily, I have some food already on me. And let's eat this guy up real quick. Excellent. Drink some fluids. Okay, excellent. Alright, um, let's start off with... Throwing that in there. Uh, what, what was the split stack? What? Wait a second. That should be split stack. But for some strange reason it's not doing it. Oh well. I don't care that much. Uh, throw these. Bottled water. Let's do all of them. There we go. Cook that up. No. Maybe turn on. No cook up. No. Still no. Oh, I know what the problem is. Da, da, da. I'm real smart sometimes. Okay. Had to go back to base. Uh, we are missing the cooking pot. That's what we need. There's a cooking pot in there. So, gotta run all the way back to base real quick. Do, 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 do. Feel smart now. Yeah, well. All the while 
and grabbing all the things along the way. Because we are going to need all that golden rod. Come on. I know it's it's quite the jog, but it's not that bad. Especially whenever you think of the security. It's a good thing I was collecting those. I've got a few of them now. close at least this door behind us. The only reason I have those other do to other two doors. Man, I am just not able to speak today. Jesus. Uh anyways, the only reason I have those other two doors is so that if we do become under attack, uh it's easy very easy for us to defend against the attackers. Itchy arm. Give me just a minute. Okay, there we go. I had an itch, man. Very itchy situation. Make sure nobody's around. Alright. Now then, let's try this again, shall we? Oh, come on. Get up there. What, what seems to be the major malfunction here? Thank you. Ladders sometimes are very, very tricky. Okay, uh, let's do a third. So, let's go ahead and do 30 in each. Actually, let's do, I think I can do this. Yes, I can do it that way. Awesome. And then put our cooking pot right there. Awesome. And now we can cook. Okay, great. Let's do 20 in here. Put that there. That there. Aha! Let's click and drag. Come on now. I should have done that. Let's go and grab our 500 out of here. this guy off real quick. Um, I am out of room for the moment. Okay, that's fine. Just drop it on me for a second. There we go. If you have to drop something like that and then pick it back up, just uh, exit out of your inventory and just press E and that'll automatically scoop it into your inventory. Then turn that back on. Turn this guy back on. And got to put a cooking pot in here real quick and turn that guy on that should be most of my water yep okay good uh, and then split that split that 250 in there 250 in here and 250 in here excellent okay we'll come back and check on those here in just a minute Right now, we are going to go over to our other cooking place. Anyway, I was thinking about using this garage, but I like having it in the attic. It's a lot safer in the attic, so. Zombies can't get to us quite as easily as they could before. Alright, and then let's go ahead and tear this down. I know I meant to do this off camera, but I got distracted. Sorry. Luckily, it's not too terrible much. Ah, see? That's not too bad. Uh, can I? Nope. Can't just eat them up. That's fine. Just break them down real quick. Oot, level 20 in blades. Awesome sauce. Oh, two, three, excellent. And put that in there. Put this guy right there. Excellent. This guy in here. And this guy. 
guy right there. And last but not least. Oh, wrong thing. Not what I wanted. There we go. And this guy right there. Awesome sauce. Okay. Now, let's get back to making our farm. Um, I think I want to do two rows of goldenrod. So that we have 16 at a time. It'll probably work out better for our favor if we do it that way. Because we're going to need a lot of fluids being in this biome. But I think I will place that one behind the rest of these. I'm not sure. There we go. Um, let's see here. That's one, two, three, four, five. And then one more. Uno mas. Get rid of all this cruddy crud crud over here real quick. There we go. I'll get rid of this too. Excellent. Alright. Uh, I think that's right. I'm pretty sure that's right. Almost positive that's right. Am I good or am I good? Sometimes I am. Not very often, but every once in a while. All right. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And then one more. Awesome. Now that that is complete, let's put away a couple of these. Get out our seats. I think I am going to put the blueberries right here. There we go. Blueberry, blueberry. Awesome. And then potatoes. Then zikon. And then Z the coffee and Z golden rod. Coffee, coffee. Cough, 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 cough. Uh, the reason why I'm not making as much coffee as I am golden rod is because um, coffee actually takes away from your. Um, from your wellness so the about the only time you really want to use coffee is whenever you're exploring or going on long trips or something like that uh, coffee will give you an energetic boost make you use stamina a lot less I believe is what it is there we go two rows of golden run uh, coffee corn potatoes blueberries and let's get our Thing back out. There we go. There we go. Okay. And let's go ahead and put this right back here. Good. Right here. I think it should be a good spot for it. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, I believe, if I counted right. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. There's three kinds of people in this world. Those who can count and those who cannot. And I am definitely the second. And we have one, just a little bit of space for something else, but I'll figure that out later. Alright, our farm is now complete. So, I have some seedlings uh, right here. 
that we need to do something with. And I was thinking on the other side of over here would probably be a really good spot for it. And here our furnace is going up in there. Let's go over here. Right where these other trees are would be a beautiful spot for these. I want to say. Let's go ahead and get over here. And find a couple of spots. There we go. Excellent. Alright. Uh, which one is this? I think that's our maple and the other is our pine. What I used to do is I used to make like a wall out of these early game, but they made it to where you can't put them side by side anymore, and which makes me a sad panda. A very sad panda, because, man, early game, that was like the best wall you could ever have, because they would have to knock down an entire tree just to get to you. Ooh, nice bird's nest. And another level for our scavenging. Even better. Alright. Let's see here. Okay. So, I think it's about the old wrapping up point now. So, I'm going to go ahead and leave y'all here. And then bring... Then bring y'all back in the next episode. Uh, once we get everything all smelted up and ready to go. Let's check our heat level in this house over here real quick. We should have good stuff going on for us. Next episode. And I think next episode we're also going to start... Oh, Zambi. Where are you at? Where are you at? Come on. Bring it, Rossif. Okay. But anyways... uh. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Everybody, have a good day. Take it easy.